Okay, so we are going to talk about the first one, which is no poverty. Ah, okay. How about no poverty in your country? Okay, the no poverty rule in my country yes. is not really working. Because in my country, you find that the unemployment rate is quite high. Uh, about like a, how many percentage? It was uh, up to about 90%. Wow, 90%. Na- nine zero. Okay. Yes. 90% of the people were unemployed, like wow. not so many employed. Uh, so maybe it's like a part-time job, it's alright. People can get part-time job. Most of the people survived by buying and selling, traveling yes. to other countries, yes. buying hair, yes. sell the hair. Oh, okay. Like import, buy- export. Yes, but this is not really recordable for the country, like to say all oh, people are working as traders. Because yes. people buy and sell, they come to their houses, they start selling those things. So uh, it's not registered in Norway. Like, so it's not like a proper job, like a proper business. It's not. Uh, it's not a proper business. So you mean like only 10% people have a formal job, but other 90% people have to make the money by yourself or have to exactly. do something? Yes, or small businesses. But uh, don't forget, wow. these small businesses are usually not properly registered, may be registered, but don't pay much. So this is not eradicating the poverty in Africa because mm-hmm. people don't have much money to start proper registered businesses. Yes. At the same time, people cannot survive from the small business. Oh, okay, I'm just saying. You need like more money to like uh, raise up your kids or like pay the school fee or... Uh... The school fee, exactly. That's the other problem we have in Africa. Our school fees are cheaper yes. than government schools. Yes. yes the government schools there, okay? Okay. But the government schools are not really classy, okay. good, you know? You find that in one class we have at least 60 students. 60 students in one class? In one class. Wow, that's quite a lot. That's quite a lot. And yes. I find it challenging because some students are slow, yes. but they may not get proper attention from the, from the teacher yes. because there are too many students in the class. Oh, okay. Maybe you need at least like two or three teachers in 60 students. Exactly. Mm. Or maybe split them into half. Ah, okay. When I was in school, we had at least 30 students in one class. Okay. Are there many poverty instead families or individual in Zimbabwe? Yes. Are there many poverty fa- poverty infested families yes. or individuals in Zimbabwe? Actually they are. We look at uh, basic things like food. Uh, food, yes, food. food. Most families struggle to have three meals in a day. Oh, uh, three meals a day, it's difficult to have. It's sort of like a luxury. Three oh. meals, it's sort of like... <sighs> Most families have trained even their children to eat in early, the, like early in the morning. Yes. It's around 2, 11. Mm-hmm. And then have supper only. Oh, uh, so only breakfast and dinner, no supper. lunch. Mm-hmm. Oh. No lunch. And... Yes. The other problem is that we don't eat, we don't get to eat healthy food. Oh, uh, what kind of food do you we eat? Don't, rice? Yes. Sadza? Yes. We have um, Fresh- our staple food called sadza. Sadza? Is that like like corn grape? Yes, it's uh, made from corn. Yes, yes. Uh, we grind our corn, we get uh, sort of like a flour powder, yes. flourish powder. Yes. Okay. Sadza. So usually it's rice in the morning, sadza yes. at night. This is what most families afford to get. Oh, uh, so like a no vegetable, no meat? Uh, no, 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 no. Chicken? We usually eat that with soup. Ah, uh, okay. Sadza, usually it's at the soup vegetables. Meat? Yes, people afford to eat meat. Ah, uh, okay. But I think this is for families that are bit stable. Okay, so uh, stable, so. stable. So not, not everyone. Not, not everyone. Mm. I guarantee you, not everyone. Because it's expensive. It's expensive. Oh. And also their salary. The salary for our nurses, our policemen, like the civil, civil servants. Yes, yes, yes. Amounted to about 35 US dollars a month. 35 US dollars a month? <laughs> that is for the teachers, like teachers, nurses, Government officials, like like like, po- like police or like office. Oh, really? So that means twenty five dollars per month. So it's like one dollar per day. See, uh-huh. of which in Africa we have at least two to three children. It's yes. School fees is usually at government schools. Let's put it maybe at ten dollars. Okay, ten dollar per one mm-hmm. one kid. One kid. Oh. And usually we say we have three children. Okay, so it's like $30. I am, you see, already. Yeah. Oh, okay, so, so that... Now... How much is for one month for like a normal apartment? Okay, 
the houses in these suburbs charge at least fifteen dollars wow. for a room. Okay, so here we are saying this is for one room. Okay. Now since you have three children, since yes. the person has three children, yes. it means that they may need to have at least two rooms. At least oh. and it's kind of normal in these suburbs to use two rooms. It means already that takes up thirty dollars. Oh okay, thirty dollars for like one family. For house hey, but the, don't forget the school fees. Yes, yes, the school fees. It's already finished your salary. So now can you picture where we're going to get food from? Yes. Where we're going to get money for rentals from? Small little tables yes. which have tomatoes, onions. So the women stay at home usually. Yes. They sell these things. Oh, okay. So that they can at least save and buy food, maybe 2 kg rice. Oh, okay. So this is how they survive. The oh. man goes to work and maybe 35 US dollars a month. Yes. The wife will stay at home usually and do this. Oh, so okay. Understand, understand. Because also don't forget our unemployment rate is Oh, okay, yeah, ninety percent. You said. Oh, okay, really. It was quite interesting. Uh, sorry, it's <gasps> over the time, but uh, I will book your class again. So can you continue the I can. this kind of? I can. Uh, Don't worry. Oh, thank you very much. It yeah, it makes very really shock to me, but it's good to know some other countries. Yes, it's so, good to know how some people yeah, survive. Yeah, Natalie, thank you very thank much. You. Thank you so much.